For the last six years, we've been using the Channel Master Stream Plus to DVR our off-air programming. It gives you a user guide so you can schedule events up to 14 days in advance. You can program series so you click on it once and it records the entire series for you as they air. Problem is, Google decided not to update the user guide anymore. So when you go to the guide, it tends to be mostly blank. Occasionally some things will fill in. That information is provided by the local off-air stations, but it's not enough information that you can use it to program 14 days in advance and it won't do repeats because the schedule is only for several hours. This is unfortunate since the actual device itself is fully capable of recording and playing back. It just doesn't have the guide to work with. In my search for a replacement to the Channel Stream Plus, I wanted something that was similar in size and cost. This was about $149 originally, with the capability not only to record single programming, but to record series, and with at least a 14-day guide so we could pick programs ahead of time. And in this video, that led me to the Tableau 4th Generation Over-the-Air DVR. Things to know about the Tableau TV. You'll need a TV antenna for it to work. It includes two TV tuners, which means you could watch TV on one and record on the other or record on both tuners as long as you're not watching. The unit will store up to 50 hours of programming. You can add external storage to expand that capability and also improve the image quality. The 14-day viewing guide is provided free of charge and requires no contract or subscription. Unlike the Channel Master, which connected directly to the TV, the way the Tableau works is it connects to your internet router, which then connects to your TV, which allows it to also connect to any smart compatible device. You also get 60 free streaming channels, which you're able to record. The device has 5.1 surround pass-through. Unfortunately, this device does not work directly with Samsung, Vizio, LG, or Apple TV. For those, you will need a streaming device like a Roku or a Fire TV. Opening the box reveals a tab. You pull on the tab. You see the Tableau itself. You lift that up. Antenna input, USB input for external drive, Ethernet input, or you can just go with Wi-Fi connection, and then a place for the power. We lift up, and we have the quick guide. There is how to mount your antenna and the unit because if you look on the back side there are two ports here and you can mount this on a wall if you'd like. And then we have mounting hardware and a matching Ethernet connection that you can make with cable it's provided. And then in our last box, we get a wall wart and cable. So very small form factor, very unobtrusive. I believe there's a light here that comes on. So uh, let's hook this up. Before making any hardware connections, the first thing we're going to do is download the Tableau TV app on your smart device. When that's done, then we're ready to come over to our Tableau device and connect the TV antenna, which I'm just going to take from the old Channel Master. And then I'm going to plug in an Ethernet from my router and power. I'm not going to plug in the USB external drive just yet. 
I want to make sure that everything's functioning correctly before I do that. Plus, I still have some programming on the old Channel Master that I still want to clear out. With the TV antenna connected and the Ethernet, I am ready to apply power. Let me place the unit down. You get a flashing blue light. I'm going to come over to the app, launch the app. I click that I am new to Tableau, but I'll need to create an account first, so you'll do that. Once you're registered, now you'll have to confirm verification through your email. Then it'll prompt to connect either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I'm going to go with Ethernet. If you go with Wi-Fi, then you're going to actually have to give it, connect to your router and give it the password so it can access that. And now, please plug in an Ethernet cord into your Tableau, power it on, which we've done. The blue light is solid, which is the requirement. And then we press search for my Tableau. And unfortunately, it says the Tableau is not detected, which is not a good thing. I'm going to check my Ethernet connection, make sure it's properly plugged in, and we'll try this one more time. Okay, quick update. I had failures on both these phones trying to make this work. I ended up calling their tech support. They basically had me uninstall the app, reinstall the app, unplug the Tableau, replug the Tableau, and then just log back in and go through the setup again. So at this point, it's uh, going through a firmware update, and we see that by the flashing light. When you have a steady light, that means that you're connected to the Ethernet and everything's working great. If it's flashing, it means that the connection hasn't been made. So um, if you do have a problem, your options are to uninstall, reinstall the app, and to unplug the Tableau for like 10 seconds, put it back in, and then go through the procedure. And by the way, the firmware update is a three-step process. So right now we're just step two of three, which is installing. Now my phone indicates that the Tableau is searching for the latest firmware. Now it's scanning for channels. I press the scan button. And this, of course, will depend on your t antenna. I have an outdoor antenna. So I should get a, a decent amount of channels. So far it has found 20. And if you're happy with what you see there, uh, you can save and continue. And now it's downloading the schedule for 14 days. And these are free for the lifetime of the unit. Or, like Google, until they decide not to do it anymore. And it has finished downloading the 14-day schedule. We see that I can record Blue Buds on ION 4 to 5 p.m. I can watch live. I can go to more schedule. Let's hit watch live. And there's the show. And that's streaming live right off my TV antenna. So I can record that or I can program it to record that. If you go to live at the bottom, you can see the schedule. January 24th, 4.30. These are some of the available programs. And of course, I can pick any of those to record. And now there's some other stuff in here, like the Times, the Washington Post, Bloomberg. These are the free streaming channels that are available to you in addition to the air channels. And because this is part of Tableau, you can actually record these and play these back later, which you can't do. This won't record cable or your satellite channels, but it will record of course, the over the air and the streaming channels that they supply, that Tableau supplies for you. So there's Bloomberg, US Outside, uh, Fubu Sports, 
all sorts of stuff in there. So um, just more Ion, which Mrs. Loves, AMC Thrillers, Court TV, Crime, all sorts of stuff. So I think there's a little bit of everything in here for someone to like. So that's how you connect it. And of course, you can watch it on a device or if you have a compatible TV, you can watch it on that. After a few weeks of use, I can compare the Tableau to my old Channel Master. Of course, the Channel Master is no longer available, but it allowed you to plug directly to your TV via HDMI. You could pause off-air programming with it. It, of course, came with a remote, had 14 days of scheduling. You could use it with any TV, but it only worked on one TV, and you could only record off-air channels. The Tableau, on the other hand, connects to your router, and therefore is available on numerous devices. It cannot pause off-air programming. It does not need a remote. It too includes a 14-day programming schedule. When recording, it allows you to start earlier than the program and run longer, so you never downcut or upcut a show. And beyond watching it on your compatible TV, you could also watch it on any compatible device. The Tableau also allows you to record any of its streaming channels. And finally, the Tableau has a built-in antenna amp, which allows you to bring those channels that are right on the fringe. My search for a Channel Master replacement ended up with two candidates, TiVo and Tableau. They both have great UIs. They both provide free subscription. The difference is the Tableau is much lower in price. You can watch it on any compatible device in your home so you're not limited to just your TV. If you found this video interesting or useful, leave us a comment. Don't forget to join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.